Hello there, it's Pavo and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. So, as you can see, I'm here in my bedroom and I just had to take my armor off a second because I was doing some tree sculpting and I will show you exactly what I got up to a bit later. But let's just grab my stuff very quickly from this chest and I will put all my armor on, like so. And we're going to start off today, because today is going to be a very busy day, just by making some food. We go out into the garden. I'm going to harvest up some of the wheat that I have planted, turn it into, I think, some bread or maybe some sandwiches. I'm not sure if we have enough uh, to make sandwiches, but we'll see. Um, and I guess I really need to like start planting some fruit trees down here, because that is exactly why I added this extra path in. Um, so I could expand my garden because, well, uh, it's very small, that garden, there's not much that can go in it. And the garden over there is just full of different sorts of uh, crops. So no fruit trees yet, but I will plant them over here as soon as I can. So how much of this wheat do I need? I'm not sure. I might as well harvest it all. Uh, shouldn't take too long. And I think we, we might have some uh, jam inside, so we might be able to make some... Uh, nice sandwiches, but let's have a look. So we'll just pop in this way and through here. Oops. I think we might be able to make some egg sandwiches actually. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, egg sandwiches. Yeah, I know that they do exist. Oh, it's as simple as that. Okay, perfect. Well, that's what I'm going to be making then. I'm going to grab some eggs. Uh, I'm going to pop back through here and through the window and to here and we'll make 10 pieces of bread and we'll make some egg sandwiches and I believe because it's part of the apple milk mod I might be able to place them on the floor yes I can I just want to see how much these heal up oh they heal up well I've healed up my uh, hunger bar as far as it can go um, I'm not sure if it heals up anymore but I'll have to see when I'm a bit more hungry but okay so I need to craft a name tag so we can go ahead and name the phoenix that hatched and let's see do I have one already. Uh, I don't. Not by the looks of things. But I'm going to grab this paper. I'm going to grab this string and also some of these pink slime balls. And let's see if I can remember the recipe. Actually, we'll use this one. Um, I think it was something like this. Nope. Maybe not. What about this? No, I don't remember. I'm going to have to look it up. Name tag. Oh, I was close. I, I was close. I got the paper and the string the wrong way around. Uh, but here you go. Here is... Can I not use pink slime balls? Is that why? Is that why? Is that why it's not working? Can I use a blue one? Let me do that. Um, oh, I guess not. I guess not. Oh, yeah, I can use... Oh, what? There. I don't know why it wasn't working, but there we are. We have a name tag now. And we'll just pop these things back. Uh, like so and the string as well. I'll keep the paper on me. I might need it for something. I probably won't but oh well And I have enough experience points So I'm gonna go ahead and name the name tag now It was very difficult to decide between two specific names because I love them so so much The first one was Kindle and the second one was Kasai and Kasai is the Japanese word for fire for those that don't know um and ah, oh, it's so difficult, it's so difficult. So in the end, I had to do like a coin toss and Kasai won. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that name. The Kindle was such a perfect name. I thought that would have fit so well. Um, oh, it's raining, that's not good. But if we get another Phoenix or if we get another creature that that name will fit, I will so use it because it was perfect. But anyway, this Phoenix over here is gonna be called Kasai. Like so, perfect. And I hope I've spelled that right. And now I'm gonna grab some of these oak leaves because I am going to build like a little bushy border around here just to prevent uh, the phoenix from falling into the river because I think I might go ahead and uh, leave the phoenix here at the gazebo instead of building that thing on the house. I think it would look a bit weird if I did build uh, the phoenix pad on the house but anyway let's see let's just place these down don't need to be too precise uh, just so that the phoenix can't fall in uh, yeah like that and a bit more also so that we don't fall into the river as well because that 
probably wouldn't be a good idea, but um, a bit over here as well, I guess, maybe. Yeah, I think that would do. I think that would do. That looks nice. I might touch it up a bit later, but uh, it will work for the moment. Oops. Yep. Yeah, just, yeah, like that. That'll work. I'm sure that looks fine. Pretty, pretty. I might go plant some roses or something. I think that would look good. Yeah, there we are. We have it. And yeah, I still need to get grab a saddle. I've got to go exploring the world for those because I think the only place that you can find them is in like abandoned mine shafts. And I haven't seen any of those around here. Uh, I know that we did have some saddles back at the old place. Uh, I think you might be able to find them in villages as well. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this looks this looks decent. This looks okay. I might replace uh, some of the the leaves with some of the flowering oak leaves. I'm trying to see if there's any around here that I can show you, but uh, I don't seem to see any. But never mind. So I had to wait a bit for the rain to stop so we could get on with things, and I've nibbled a few of my egg sandwiches while I've been waiting. But we're going to get on with building the giraffe barn today. So in the last episode, I did say that I was a bit confused with what the fourth animal for the oriental exhibit would be. So I'm going to put it on hold for the moment and instead work on the giraffe barn. Though some people did leave some awesome suggestions of the animals that I could put in the oriental exhibit. And for you people worrying, don't worry, there will definitely be more than four oriental exhibits. Ah, oriental exhibits, I've said that too much. But anyway, I'm down here because I need to grab some materials ready to build the giraffe barn. I've laid out a design in carbonous blocks, as I always do, and I just need the materials to build it. Now, I really wish I had some of the sacred sapling wood, because I thought think that wood would look perfect, but I'm just going to grab all the things that I hope um, are suitable. So let's see, I might as well take some of these skeleton planks, I don't know. The materials look, they look decent, so uh, we'll give it a go. And if the server wants to stop complaining, let me open the chests. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, there we are. Um, mm, I might take some mangrove wood. Yeah. Uh, possibly some more of this jungle wood. And I need to take a few blocks of iron. So I'm going to grab a couple of these iron ingots and turn them into iron blocks, uh, like so. Uh, yeah, I guess seven will do. Um, because, whoops, I'll put egg sandwiches on the top of my chest there. How do I get them off? No! There we are. I don't want egg sandwiches just wasting away on the top of the chest. It's not very good. They're for eating, not for placing down. Um, but yeah, I need these iron blocks because I am going to make uh, fences out of them. So we'll see how well that works. Anything else here that I need to take? I've got some iron bars. Um, spooky ambient noises in the background. Let's see. Hmm. I might take couple of chests and when I say a couple I've taken six and a crafting station uh, yeah one of these and anything else hmm I know that I want to decorate the the barn like I did with my stables outside with the hay oops uh, I keep forgetting this is here I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the cassowaries and put them in safari nets. I should really clean up my inventory very quickly, but oh well. So I'm gonna grab these two cassowaries. I think I only have two. I know that one suffocated because it got stuck in the chair here and it sort of glitched into the wall and it died. But that's the reason I had uh, kept these. Wait, is this iron? Yeah, it must be because I'm not getting anything back from it. Whoops, <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but the reason that I left these bars here was because I didn't want the birds coming in dying on the essence berries But the cassowaries were so fat they get stuck in the wall and suffocate so I guess I could remove them But I think I'm gonna pop these cassowaries Into the pen with the goats because I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I'm sure they will get along perfectly fine uh, Well, I hope so anyway. I'm sure they won't attack each other. They shouldn't do but I'll remove them as soon as possible but anyway, yes, we'll head over to the giraffe barn and I'll show you the little layout that I've built and then I think I'm gonna get onto a bit of a speed build. But the giraffe barn is part of the African zone because giraffes are in fact from Africa. And yeah, I've decided that I was, I was going to build it over here. So like right next door. And if the chunks want to load in, please, please server. 
server doesn't like me today. I don't know why. Ah, uh, yeah, but here we are. So this is the giraffe barn. It's going to be like a tall structure, as you'd expect, because giraffes are pretty tall animals. And I want to make it like orange, like, uh, I think I might use the jungle wood and some of the pine wood uh, as the material, but this is going to be like the entrance for the visitors of the zoo to come in. And there's going to be like a couple of cages here. Um, so you can look in and see the giraffes. And I'm going to put like little hay boxes, hay bales for the uh, giraffes to eat. I was thinking of putting like a metal door here so that only the zookeepers could wander in and they could, I don't know, I don't know what they'd do, maybe um, access into the uh, exhibit via here, access into the cages, I'm not sure. I think that probably would be the best idea. Or I could expand it and just make it like a an additional walkway. So you get a more view of the giraffe, uh, giraffe, what, what do I call this, giraffe, this is the barn, this is the barn, this is the giraffe barn. Um, but yeah, we have this giraffe barn area over here, and then we've got this nice big expanse of land. I'm going to put like a little pond, I want to put some really tall trees, and some acacia trees, and also some enrichment items as well. We also have a bunny in here, he's not going to stay in here for much longer. But I really like how this looks on the mini-map, especially this little path that goes alongside the exhibit. And it will lead down to hopefully more exhibits, I'm not sure whether they'll be African themed or not. I know that I do want to reserve this bit of land down here for um, the Swan Lake Cafe. And I think I've just realised that I forgot to put some of the water textures back in. I did, yes, all the water's gone dark again. Not good, not good, I've got to fix that a bit later. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get straight into a speed build and hopefully there will be some sort of voiceover so you won't get too bored with watching me build. So I will see you all in a few minutes. I always find the most difficult part of building choosing the correct materials because I wasn't sure whether the acacia wood went with the birch wood and then I couldn't choose and then I ended up using the skeleton wood and it was all just a mess of materials and you'll see a bit later that I ended up changing the acacia for a nicer looking jungle plank. So the part that I'm building here is the stools for the giraffes. I decided that I was going to build two of them and yeah I used the skeleton wood and I also used these iron bars that don't have the horizontal railings it's just vertical poles and I thought that looked pretty cool. Again, you will see me place on all these different materials trying to find things that matched, and none of them did, and it made me so angry. But yeah, in the end, I went for a variant of this jungle plank, because I thought it matched pretty well. And then, of course, I wasn't happy with the way the acacia would looked alongside this jungle plank, so I replaced it with a different variant of the jungle plank. And for the roof, I didn't want to go with the boring, like, diagonal, slopey angles. So I wanted to give it, like, a shroomph. You'll see what I mean by that. It's like a curve, like a jitty out curvy bit. And this was a bit difficult because it's very hard to try and make such shallow curves using the blocks in Minecraft. I also used the block mixer from the Melissus mod. Uh, to mix the acacia and jungle woods together so I could make the roof look a bit nicer. And you'll see that's what all this dirt scaffolding and stuff is for. Then I just touch up the inside a bit, adding light and also the feeding troughs. To get started on the wall of the exhibit, and I didn't want to use just boring old fences, I wanted to make it like fancy, so I decided that I was going to use the same technique as I used at my old zoo in the crocodile exhibit with the logs, the different types of logs, the spruce, the jungle, and the oak. And also, I think it fits a savannah -y theme as well. It also produces some really, really nice curves as well, which aren't normally possible with fencing. And then because this was a giraffe exhibit and giraffes come from Africa, I wasn't sure whether to make it fully sand or partially sand and keep the rest as grass. Uh, but in the end I decided that I was going to do half and half, make this lower down bit a sandy area and then the top part the grassy area. That would also allow me to place deserty plants.
And as usual, the most time consuming aspect of placing down these collapsible support carbonous blocks is making them slopey. And here come the trees. And I don't know if you can see at the back there, but I just decided to add in like a little pond. So I had to go and grab a load of different materials just to place that in. I actually used silty dirt and sand. And then I added in the water and little rocky outcrops. And well, for this part of the wall, the log technique that I used made the wall a bit too high to see over, so I decided I was going to attempt something different by placing down some limestone and then placing down logs on top, but breaking them up with the vincing to make them look like proper logs, and it looked pretty good. And I wanted to build a custom acacia tree, just like some of the real giraffe exhibits, they have like these huge custom trees. I'm not sure whether they're real or not, but they like hang leaves and enrichment items off, so that's what that was meant to be. And then finally I wanted to build like a giraffe viewing platform so that the visitors to the zoo could come up and like interact with the giraffes. I'm not sure whether you'd be allowed to like stroke the giraffes in real life, but I really wanted to make this platform and it also gave like a better view into the exhibit as well, because yeah the log technique does make the walls a bit too high. But gosh, placing logs into these carbonous slopes is so difficult because they just don't face the right way and it makes me so mad. So here we are in the finished giraffe barn and enclosure and I'm going to give a quick tour of exactly what I've done. I'm actually going to put this giant scythe away because it's probably not the best thing to hold uh, while doing the tour. But anyway, I did go ahead and I fixed up the water textures. They should all be working now. Uh, it's because I had to update the server resource pack to get some of the other skins, the other NPC skins that people use and the bibliocraft paintings. So I forgot to kind of install again but it should be good now it should be good um yeah we'll start in the giraffe barn because that is the first thing that i built and basically you come in from this outside and it's this nice jungle looking uh, well it is jungle wood but it's it's nice and it suits the exhibit well i think and you come in and you can see the cages of course we do not yet have giraffes i need to figure out how i'm gonna go ahead and obtain some giraffes i know that seri it, i think is the only person on the server that has giraffes, so I could ask her if it would be possible for her to breed some, or I might make a trade appear that it would be possible to trade um, some coins or some rare items for some giraffe eggs, giraffe spawn eggs, because yeah, giraffes don't lay eggs in real life. But yeah, so we'll head into this area. This is going to be the staff only area, and I was thinking of like knocking down this wall a bit and making like a giraffe food prep room with leaf storage and things and all the other things that giraffes eat and we'll actually head into the exhibit now via this door and if we go into the part of the barn that the giraffes are going to be in we have like this hay structure up here that the giraffes can eat from and also these hanging hay bales which I thought looked pretty cool but we head out here and we have this raised platform so that the visitors to the zoo can come in and actually see the giraffes at like head height possibly feed them though i'm not sure how much of a safety hazard that would be i know that it is possible to feed giraffes at zoos in real life so i might as well go ahead and add something like that maybe you have to pay to do it i'm not sure i'll figure something out but yeah let me go down here and alongside the tall acacia trees we have this custom built one with some hanging enrichment items which i think are pretty cool I mean, currently the only enrichment items are acacia leaves, which are, of course, what giraffes eat. 
and well is that it for the exhibit yeah we've got this little pond over here so we can get some water i was thinking of adding some more enrichment items like maybe uh balls uh, or something i'm not sure if they would use things like that i don't know but yeah so uh we'll just have a quick look outside and i have explained a bit about this in the speed build that i did but these walls here i really really like the assorted uh, wooden logs. They were the same technique that I used back at my old zoo in the crocodile exhibit and I thought I'd put them to good use again here. Um, and well, yeah, I think that's it. We also have these Da Vinci sculpture walls over here that I'm actually going to put invisible bedrock on top so it's not possible for people to jump into the exhibit. We don't want people running around with the giraffes, especially if they can't make their way back out. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. I think that is everything for the giraffe exhibit. Hopefully it looks as good as you'd expect. There is a very big gap between these two exhibits though, and I'm not quite sure what to put in the middle because it's way too big for a path. I'm thinking maybe a few stalls, maybe a few benches, flower beds, I'm not sure. But we'll figure something out. We always do, we always do. But yes, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all for watching. As always, the code is on screen. And a few of you have asked how you become a zookeeper in my zoo. And well, the answer is the PowerPoints. You know the codes that appear at the bottom of the screen? Well, basically, you, ha you need to redeem those on my website. And once you have enough, then it's possible to buy an NPC in my zoo. And I will add you in as soon as possible. So yes, thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye.